Richmond Newspapers Incorporated v. Virginia, 1980. In 1976, John Paul Stevenson was indicted for the murder of Lillian Keller outside Richmond, Virginia. Stevenson was found guilty of murder, but the conviction was overturned on appeal in 1977. In 1978, Stevenson's second trial ended in a mistrial. Stevenson had two more mistrials that same year. After the fourth mistrial, the defense attorneys filed a motion to have the trial closed to the public and the press in order to protect Stevenson's Sixth Amendment right to a fair trial. The prosecution did not object. However, Richmond Newspapers Incorporated sued in court, arguing that closing the trial to the public violates the First and Sixth Amendments to the Constitution. The case became complicated due to a ruling by the Supreme Court, Gannett Company Incorporated v. De Pasquale, which stated that the public and the press had no right to attend criminal trials under the Sixth and Fourteenth Amendments. The case went to the Supreme Court to clear up the confusion. In a seven to one decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the right of the press to attend court proceedings was guaranteed under the First Amendment. The press had a right to listen to the proceedings in a criminal case. The de Pasquale case focused on the Sixth Amendment guarantee to a public trial, while this case focused on the First Amendment freedom of the press.